Hey guys, if you like this content, I would greatly appreciate it if you guys liked the video and subscribed to my channel. It helps uh, make these videos worth it going forward. What's up guys, Alcoin Sherpa here with Crypto Market Review. As always, this is not financial advice. I am not an expert to your own research. Today, I want to review a lot of altcoins that I requested on Twitter, so check it out. Uh, so this is Pepe. Pepe wasn't requested explicitly, but I've had a lot of people just ask about it. So here it is. Uh, to be clear, I do have a position in Pepe and I'm looking to sell it higher, but I, I am uh, still exposed to this one. I actually recently longed around here, the 786 Fib. There's a high volume area right around this current um, current price where you can see there's quite a bit of volume um, around this current area on volume profile. And I think that a move up seems pretty likely uh, in the short term. Now I did say that around the 0.618 Fib, but I was horribly wrong. Price continued to dump. And it's also quite possible that price just continues to nuke away lower. Uh, but if there's a bounce spot, I think this is a likely area. 786 Fib, high volume area, um, SR level, and just lots of trading around this area back in early May. So, um, this is kind of an area that I'm looking at right here and would expect something like this where we chop around and then maybe move up and then come back down. I wouldn't be surprised at all to be to be clear uh, for this to go way lower eventually. And my uh, position currently, my active position is, is really just one where uh, it's just a scalp. I'm just going to take this next move up. Uh, but wouldn't be surprised to see a dead count bounce uh, somewhere to the 0.5 or 0.618 Fib and then head lower. Let's check out uh, Link. Link on higher time frame charts. This is still just a accumulation, in my opinion. Really, not much to say overall. Huge amount of volume transacted here in this area, and and you can just see it's been chopping around for like a year. Let's just clean the chart up a little bit. Take out volume profile. I'll, uh, I, I mark this green area as like a uh, demand area and it looks like price is bouncing a little bit off it but overall I wouldn't be surprised for price to hit the uh, lows eventually like the five and a half dollar area but when this starts to move this is going to move very strong and I think that you know eventually when it gets out of this accumulation um, zone here uh, then I think that's very very it's going to move very strong as you can see all the EMAs kind of clumping together uh, you know, they are prices below them and is bearish right now on the daily, but I wouldn't be surprised at all to see kind of uh, price just chop around a little bit and then like um, consolidate and, and all that stuff. Anyways, um, yeah, my personal plan for Link is really just to go ahead and just wait until it breaks out of the range, to be frank and honest with you. Um, once it breaks out of the range, that's when I want to trade it. Until that time, it's just going to be Chop City. I don't believe this is really going to outperform many other altcoins. I'm really waiting for kind of this big move up out of this range, and then uh, and then kind of that's the uh, that's my plan. Because once I once it does leave the range, uh, that's kind of what I'm I'm looking for. Woo is a solid coin currently at the 200-day EMA. On the daily, it is a point of support, but it's look it's looking like it's getting hammered over and over. I do believe this is a strong project, and I do am exposed to this uh, long term. Uh, I'm just a long term holder of this this project. I think it's good. Um, I don't know if it's found the bottom quite yet, though. What you really want for a bottom, in my opinion, is just for it to chop around and consolidate and form like a good long term low, similar to what we saw back in the lows formed in November, December. You saw that price chopped around for a while and then formed a strong low. I would love to see that here. I don't know if it's going to be here or it's quite possible if we use volume profile that it's at a lower price, something like um, uh, like 17 cents would make sense to me, in my opinion, kind of just chop around here, high volume node area, the point of control of this entire range. And I could see this going back a little bit lower, like the 16, 17 cent area. And if you just strip everything away from this chart as well, you can also um, use a fib. I'm sure there's going to be some sort of area. The 786 fib would be around this area. Um, 
so yeah, that's kind of like my overall plan for for Wu is just to go ahead and keep waiting. But I I, I strongly believe this is going to be pretty good in the bull market, so I'm just gonna keep holding it. No big deal. Um, let's check out IMX. Don't know what this coin does. Don't really know about it. Had a massive run. It looks like at the end of December, going all, all the way to March. But it looks like it's really pulling back. I wouldn't be surprised at all to see this go all the way back down to the base. Generally speaking, when you see prices do this type of thing, you'll see a full retrace of these altcoins. And you could throw a fib out there, but it's already kind of breaking past most of them. It's already broken past all these EMAs. And um, in my opinion, I would look for the $0.63 cents area to provide some sort of bounce. It is the area of support and resistance, as you can see, uh, um, kind of right here at 63 cents 64 cents and then from there i'm not sure like it could form a bottom there but like it wouldn't like if you look for it to form a bottom it's just going to chop around here but i wouldn't be surprised at all to see it come back lower all the way back down to like this 45 cent area um and just kind of chop around for a long time and then and then another move up but wouldn't be buying this one unless it's a scalp around the 64 cent area i do believe it's going much lower though Adam Cosmos this is a great chain, but of course it's kind of just chopping around, consolidating. Um, don't really know what to make of this chart, to be frank and honest with you. It, it's it's just it's just kind of grinding around and doing nothing. I think that it's going lower. I mean, it looks like it's it's you can see lower highs and lower lows all in the next the last several uh, months. I do believe it's going to go to something like um, this eight dollar area. It wouldn't surprise me at all. Um, you can see two on higher time frame charts where, you know, this is kind of like an SR level. Um, so around this eight dollar mark is probably the area that I'd probably view for Adam. But don't really know what to think of it. It's not really bullish by any means, in my opinion. I wouldn't be trading this one at all. There's not much volatility. There's not much. Um, there's not much volume. There's not much. You know, I'm sure it's liquid as hell, but it's just. It's a good project fundamentally, but I, I personally just would not trade this. Um, would expect kind of like this 930 area is like the next area up. Tomo. Interesting chart. Decent amount of volume coming in. It's like this kind of rounded bottom. Don't really know what to think of this one, honestly. Rounded bottom kind of look at this from an SR level around this 130 area. Um, it looks pretty good, honestly. I mean, like, it's the thing that's good about it is that it's thrived in these bad market conditions for altcoins. Most altcoins have been getting fucked the last you know, month or so or two months. And this one looks pretty damn strong. Uh, don't know what the hype is or what the, the news or reasoning for this, but it looks good. Wouldn't be buying here because it is a resistance level, in my opinion. Um, you know, it is kind of like this this former low that got set back in 2021. And you can see it consolidated back in March of 2022, and then it nuked lower. But if we saw if we see a break, there's probably a trade opportunity here where it's something like this. Um, where, you know, you can get maybe like a 30%. But invalidation is a bit confusing. Uh, I don't know where you would invalidate. These wicks are kind of confusing. You could maybe like say, oh, like below this. But it gets a little bit sketchy in terms of in invalidation. So, uh, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it does break this current level around uh, a buck oh three, a buck oh four, uh, for it to go all the way up to 135. But then after that, not really sure. But it does look pretty strong. Um, this is something to watch, in my opinion. Dogecoin looks just kind of OK. Um, I, I think it's just going to continue chopping around. I, I don't believe this is going to move really strong for now. Wouldn't be surprised at all to see something like, you know, it coming back down to this five cent area and just continue chopping around. Don't really think this is a great vehicle to trade. I, it's good in terms of liquidity. It's one of the best for all coins, but, but don't really see any reason to buy this for right now. I, I do believe maybe the 6065 area will provide some support though, if tested. So, Maybe watch out for that area, but don't really know what um, 
to think of this long term. I mean, long term, yeah, you just probably look forward to bid one uh, oh five six or something like that. Neo, I think this coin is a shit coin, and it's been down only for the most part, as most altcoins have. I I see no reason to buy this one ever. Uh, the tech is old. The uh, tech is shitty and old. There's not as much hype. It's just bad. This is just a bad coin. I'm trying to think of some areas you could potentially buy. Um, maybe this $8 area. But then, like, if you buy, you're just looking for it to come up to maybe, like, 10 I don't know. But, I mean, honestly, the next the next big move up, you should probably just look for shorts, honestly. That's probably the best strategy. This is just, like, a nasty chart. Next bounce, you just short. I don't know. If it, it comes up to 12 just short that shit and just expect it to dump. Never buying this one, though, personally. Gala. Gala is down only here as well. As I said before, you can look at these market makers and these, these tricky... Um, investors pumping price in a, a liquid shit coin and then all these buyers are buying here and then you see this distribution this is a very important chart to to to, to look at because this is what distribution looks like you don't see distribution all happen in one time this is like a market making where you just like just slow grind down you don't so for example you'll see market makers pump the fuck out of price this is where retail buys up here because retail is dumb and i retail too so i'm dumb and then that's what this is what you see for what happens after you don't see it go all the way up and then down in one go well sometimes you do if it's a rug or something like that but you have to study this type of pattern where it's just a slow fucking grind down because this is what's going to happen and then you're going to get some of these pumps like this in February and January where you think that price is totally reversing but it's it's just not okay it, it shit like this is not reversing it's just a dead count bounce um, it's gonna go it's gonna be great for um, you to exit so for example you know if you bought back here you can exit in these situations but fully expecting this just to keep grinding down now with that said uh, is this area going to grind down forever probably not like as I said you can see this probably going back up in a bull market this is definitely going to go higher however opportunity cost um you holding this bag for a long time uh you know i've actually heard this is a good project but in terms of the overall tokenomics it's just not very good uh so would heavily watch yourself i mean am i selling telling you to sell now if you're in this probably not i mean you're already so far down like presumably you bought all the way back up here somewhere in 2022 somewhere um, and you're deeply underwater. Uh, selling down here probably doesn't make much sense, to be honest, unless you're actively trading. But if you're actively trading, you're probably not in this anymore anyway because you already hit your stop loss. So, um, like, what is this down? Okay, 96%. And it got launched at end of 21. So, lots of destruction, obviously, but not. I don't know if I'd sell here personally, but... Um, yeah, I mean, probably just hold it and just sell the next pump. Pip, I have no idea what this is, but it's super strong, it looks like. Got listed in March, up only for the most part. Huge move up. I have no idea what this Some liquid way, like, buyer just moving this illiquid um, market. Some whale just buying the fuck out of it and then gets swiftly sold. Uh, don't know what this chart does. Don't know what this project is. From a technical level, it looks okay, but this could have been a blow up top, blow off top. Uh, would probably just be cautious. There will be bounces overall, as you can see right here, from this 20 cent area all the way to 30, near 30. But then, you know, generally speaking, these types of things will quickly retrace. So, not really a fan. Um, the areas of what I would consider buying is probably down here, around the 17 cents area. But again, it would just be for a quick bounce. It would be like, you know, something like this, where there, and then like this. This would make sense to me. AXS, again, you have to watch out for these types of moves. Uh, and this is this way for a lot of bear market things where you see these types of pumps in the bear markets. Everybody starts getting exuberant. Bear market's over. 
lots of moving up and then it just reality comes back and this just fully retraces the move so wouldn't be i mean it's all, almost pretty much already there so like if you're already down here you probably just don't sell at this point in my opinion but you probably just wait till it gets here and then and then uh maybe another move up and then will it ever hit like these like absurd levels that it did back in 2020 uh one 2020 um mid mid 2021 i highly doubt it but you never know uh Probably not. I mean, probably not. To be honest, I, 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 I mean, even when a bull, bull run comes again, like I can definitely see this going back up to like the fifty buck area, but it's going to take a long fucking time for that to happen. And uh, tokenomics on this too are also kind of fucked up. I think, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, I mean, like I wouldn't sell here personally, but there's, if you look back at this chart, there is still support down lower. That's the kind of scary thing about this is that. Um, there's still room to go like three bucks seems like a juicy area in my opinion uh, that's kind of an area that I would look at STX stacks don't know this was popular a few weeks ago uh, had some huge buying but then it's just distribution now uh, would expect it Yeah, I think you maybe go like a little bit lower. 50, 50 cents or something like that. And then maybe come back up again and then down. Wouldn't be surprised at all to see this go much lower. There's some inefficiencies to fill from here. This move. Inefficient means that you see a big price puts all the way through. And usually that area gets filled out. Either to the upside or downside. So, for example, this was an inefficient move too. And it got filled out with this move. So, I don't know. Like, I, I think this just goes lower. It's, it's not really a buy. Uh, don't know what the hell this is. Witnet? I don't know. Someone asked WIT. Pump and dump, it looks like. Total pump and dump. Huge amount of volume. Big distribution. Now it's coming all, all the way back down to this 0028 area. Yep. E-gold. This is a messy chart. Let's get rid of it. Don't know what this is going on here. It looks like it's just, again, ugly as fuck. Lower highs across the board. Lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high. It's just, it's just, it's just not a buy yet. Maybe again, you can maybe take a swing at it here at thirty-two dollars, but. That's kind of knife catching a little bit in my opinion. Rose, this was a good coin a bit ago, but I remember it's probably like every other altcoin that's just dying right now. Um maybe just looking around this area, like this four cent area, probably. Some support here, but again, not really uh Kind of not great, to be honest. The reason why I say it's not great is because this was already a demand area that got short up here in January. And when price comes back to this level and it has a nice move up and it comes back, that means that, that all that fuel already got used up. So here might provide a small bounce, but it's not going to be nearly as strong as the one we just saw back in April. So price will just come back down and probably go back lower. Wouldn't be surprised. Not a buyer yet, though. Filecoin looks like I was thinking that this would provide a bounce, and it was looked like I was very wrong. Again, it's just distribution. I don't really think this is a buy yet. Um, just look for the origin of the pump, I guess. Around like the $3 area would be an interesting area. Anyways, as you can tell, all these altcoins are just really bad right now. Would not be looking to buy pretty much any of these coins for now, just because I think that it's just very sketchy. Uh, would be very cautious with altcoins and wait until some sort of bottom is formed. Obviously, how do you know it's a bottom? Well, bottoms occur in a few different ways. You either have like a V-shaped bottom like this, 
or you have like this kind of accumulation bottom where price just chops around and then and then it moves up because they got so wrecked i wouldn't actually be so opposed to seeing a v-shaped bottom but i guess let's just kind of see anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed this video thanks so much for the support